So there is this fairly popular open source tool called privacy.sexy, which I've never used. This is a tool to optimize operating system. I'm saying operating system because this tool is not just made for Windows. This also works on Mac OS and Linux. So whichever operating system you use, you can use this to improve your privacy and security. If you're on Windows, you get more options like you can debloat and all that. But yeah, this tool focuses on improving your privacy and security. Again, this is a free and open source tool available at GitHub and also fairly popular 5.2K stars on GitHub. Okay. And there is even a official website privacy.sexy so let's just go to the official website actually you don't need to download this program because it uses the scripts but if you want to you can download the program and run the scripts within the program it will launch uh, the command prompt or terminal depending on what operating system you're using automatically when you select and run the scripts now before i proceed with the optimization if you're following this and you want to optimize your windows mac os or linux i recommend you to do a test on virtual machine and see if everything works and all that okay when you're using a windows optimizer that has too many options and uses scripts it's best to do a test on virtual machine so that's what i'm gonna do i'm on virtual machine actually and i'm using the windows and this is clean windows installation i haven't done any optimizations no nothing like that so i'm gonna test this on this vm so i'm gonna download the desktop version of this app again you don't have to you can just get the scripts and run it but to make everything easier i'm just gonna get the desktop version again this is also available for mac windows and linux so i'm on windows i'm gonna click on windows option and i'm gonna get the desktop app once it's installed it will automatically launch the application okay and the app actually looks similar to the website okay. now we need to actually close this and run this as administrator so it can actually apply the changes because there are some things that needs admin permission again if you're following this and trying to optimize your windows mac or linux try it on virtual machine first so here for windows we have many options privacy cleanup disable os data collection configure programs security improvements block tracking hosts privacy over security ui for privacy remove bloatware and advanced settings so we can select any of these options let's say i want to do privacy cleanup here i can clean up things like recent activity third-party application data browser history temporary windows files so this also acts like a uh, you know system cleanup tool to disable os data collection here we can disable things like app access to personal information we can even uh, expand this even further so there are many many options here and if you're trying to apply this on your main machine you have to go through these carefully and select them maybe you want to keep some of these things enabled so again that's the reason why i recommend you guys to test this on vm i know i'm saying this again and again but yeah that's very important if you're on let's say mac os you have less options okay compared to windows we have similar options like privacy cleanup configure programs configure operating system so this app is all about privacy and security okay improve security if you're on linux you get even less options like privacy cleanup disable os data collection and configure programs we can also select the specific operating systems in os data collection option for linux like disable ubuntu telemetry disable zorin os urge debian like some of the most popular operating systems on linux now let's switch to tree mode so we can see everything cleanly okay by default it will be on card and here this is kind of difficult to select everything at once so if we go tree we can select everything at once okay but i don't recommend you guys to do that on your main pc if you want to test this to see if this program actually works or what it does again use the vm i'm gonna actually not check the advanced option and i'm gonna select everything else okay within these options there are many options options inside options okay <laughs> this app is probably not for beginner if you select everything you'll never know what it's actually going to do 
to your operating system. I'm not saying this is going to do something crazy thing to your operating system. This is a open source tool, but still there are way too many options here. If you want to go through these one by one and check what they do, uh, yeah, it's going to take forever. Uh, actually, at the top, you can see there are 909 scripts available for Windows. So I've selected almost everything here. That means it's going to run at least 900 something scripts on my system. Again, since there are way too many options, I can't go through all these and read out loud and explain everything to you. What I'm going to do is actually select everything. Since I'm on VM, it doesn't matter if even if it breaks my system, but I doubt that it's going to break my system because it's a fairly popular app and people are actually using this. So I'm actually going to select these options and I'm going to run it. Oh, our antivirus blocked some of these scripts. So let's see what they say here. It seems your antivirus software might have removed the script. Don't worry, privacy.sexy is secure, transparent, and open source, but the script might still be mistakenly flagged by antivirus software. So they are trying to say here that this is false positive. Since this is trying to improve our privacy by disabling some of the uh, telemetry and all that. So antivirus is kicking in and trying to stop us from doing that. That's that. Okay. So for this demo, I'm just gonna disable the Windows security, but I don't recommend you guys to do that. You know, I'm already feeling not so good about this optimizer actually i know some people might not like that but it's not a good idea to run a optimizer that uses scripts okay but for this just demo uh, since i'm on vm i'm gonna disable that and i'm gonna run this script again just to see what it does to the operating system okay it's uh, doing a cleanup first a privacy cleanup and then it's going to disable the os data collection and then you know uh, configure our programs uh, yeah you can see there are some actually good options here like disable nvidia telemetry disable office telemetry so you might find some of these options useful but you may have to go through all these options one by one because there are over 900 scripts some might be useful some might not be so it is what it is. Oh, I think it crashed. I think it's going one by one. It did the privacy cleanup. So we have to go one by one. Okay. Uh, now we need to select the second option, disable OS data collection. Let's run that. Now it's gonna try to disable. Oh, we can actually see what it's actually doing. You can see it's disabling app access to uh, our folders and some of these uh, optimizations can be reverted back so we have revert option and it is taking forever because there are probably hundreds of scripts uh, in uh, OS data collection <laughs> yep there are probably yeah you can see you can keep expanding these options there are just way too many options here I actually don't recommend you guys to use this for most people if you're an advanced user yeah go ahead and do it there are many other options that you can use uh, while it's running let me actually show you guys on my main computer for almost everyone i recommend you guys to use this tool and this tool works flawlessly it's available on microsoft store it's not a open source tool but it's probably the safest tool to optimize the windows Okay, and the, it has many options. You can uninstall apps, you can disable unwanted services, you can improve the system performance, you can also disable the privacy related thingies, the ads, telemetry, and all that. Okay, so it looks like I do have some of these things enabled. <laughs> telemetry is enabled. What? I'm gonna disable that. App launches tracking, disable that. I actually had disabled everything, but you know the Windows. Every time Windows gets a update, some of these things enable by itself. So yeah, you really can't fix Windows fully or you really can't optimize Windows at its fullest. Once it gets the update, yeah, some of these things come back. <laughs> it is what it is, but that doesn't mean you don't have to use the optimizers. You should use optimizers because some of these options can be permanently disabled and can improve the user experience and performance and all that and for that this is like one of the best tool 
to optimize Windows because it's the safest tool. Okay, again, it's available in Microsoft Store and it has almost all the options you need to optimize Windows. No sketchy scripts, no nothing like that. I'm not trying to say that it's a sketchy program, the privacy.sexy, but still, I feel like this is for more advanced users. It looks like I'm trying to hate this app, but no, not really. Again, as I said, this is for more advanced user, the people who know what they're trying to do. And you can actually see what it did in here, okay? So for example, you can see it disabled the Wi-Fi Sense and many other things. Game screen recording disabled. Maybe you want it, uh, the game screen recording enabled. You don't want to disable it. Yeah, now it is disabled if you blindly run all these scripts. It's not like you can't re-enable them. You can, but you may have to do some research on that. So it's again for more advanced users. Okay, now let's go through the next option. Configure programs. Let's see what it does. Oh, it disables the telemetry of programs. Okay, including the some third party programs like NVIDIA telemetry, uh, in-house program too, like the office. Okay, browser. So let's actually run the third one, configure programs. Let's run it. In my opinion, if you're a advanced user, uh, this is probably one of the best optimizer to improve the privacy and security because there are so many options that you won't find in any other Windows optimizer. If you wanna go the safe side, you don't wanna break anything or you wanna have more control over what you want to optimize, just go for the wind toys. I don't have to say much about this. This app is actually beautiful. And uh, the last thing, let's actually remove bloatware. Okay, there are many things it can remove. Okay, Windows phone app. I don't actually use phone app, so it can also remove that. Uh, Cortana, it's already gone. They need to update this. Microsoft tips, I don't want that. Yeah, most of these things, I don't want that. Minecraft for Windows, I want that. Actually, I play Minecraft for Windows, but I don't have it in my VM, so it won't be able to find it. See what I said? So you have to be careful when you go through these. So maybe you play Minecraft, but you don't want to remove it. So uncheck that, since I don't have it on the VM. So let's actually run this. Okay, let's see how much it removes. You know how long the actual video is? I'm looking at my OBS studio. It's already at 49 minutes and I haven't even run the full, you know, optimizations yet. So just to optimize this, it takes forever if you do it blindly and try to run everything at once. I'm not trying to say that it doesn't work or it's not a good app, but still it's not for everybody. Like if you're an advanced user and you can go through all these options and select the specific options that you want to change, yeah, good. I think it's a pretty good program. I can actually see some of these options being useful and actually making sense. If you want to try this, haven't ever tried this just like me, this is my first time, try it on VM and see how this works. Okay, we, this recording is running for almost one hour now. Oh, removing game bar, Xbox. And I think it also removed the Microsoft Edge that you can download if you use it. But I know some people don't use. Oh, it actually worked. I can't believe it actually worked. Edge is gone. <laughs> Edge is gone. Mo Look at this. This actually worked. These are all the apps that I have left. There aren't many apps. Even the game bar is gone. If you like, don't use game bar, you can disable it. Not fully, but just the option. But yeah, it's gone. You're no longer seeing some content because the application backing your feed was uninstalled. Okay, it's gone. Actually, I may have to restart, but it's gone. <laughs> it's still running. Wow, it has a powerful deep loader. I'm not gonna lie. I think if you're an advanced user and you know what you're trying to do, I, I didn't expect this to work this well, actually. Look at this. These are all the apps that I have. And it changed so many things under the hood, like changed the privacy related thingies and optimization and all that, that you can see on the window actually, or you can go through all these options and see what it actually does. And it's still not done. It's still removing things from the 
operating system. Yeah, but if you don't have a time or you don't want to deep load and optimize Windows this deep, then again, I recommend you guys to use the Wintoys. This is overall the best Windows optimizer. But if you wanna go deep, like really deep, you wanna optimize your Windows to its fullest, then yeah, you can try out the privacy.sexy. I think it's pretty good for advanced users. Even if you're on Linux or Mac OS, this also works. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.